Hey guys, Ash here. Hope you're all well. Today I'm up at Red Hill on the Mornington Peninsula in Victoria and I'm really excited because I'm going mushrooming. So I don't know a lot about mushrooms, that's why I'm meeting up with a good friend of mine, Glenn. So he shouldn't be too far away, hopefully, because I'm pretty keen to get into it. So let's go, let's do it. I've got my friend Glenn here, who's a chef. Mate, we're here. Well, what are we likely to find? Well, this morning we're going to look for some pine mushrooms. Yep. And some slippery jacks. Uh, they're some of my favourites and probably the only ones I pick. Clearly I'm not a mushroom expert. There's a lot of dodgy ones out there that can make you really sick. Yep. To I'd probably kill us in about two minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, in the restaurants that's what uh, we use, especially during this time of the year. Yep. It's a nice morning to go out and pick a few. It is, it is. Well I'm looking forward to it. I'll give you a little rundown on how I met Glenn. I met him about, oh, what do you reckon, about a year ago? Yeah, last, last season. Yeah, last, last season. season. I was about three hours from here fishing the Goulburn River. And uh, I was about 5k downstream and I found Glenn who hooked onto this huge trout and I just happened to have the camera. So we started talking, went fishing the whole day and it works out that he lives 10 minutes from me. So lucky enough, kept in contact. And now we're going to go pick some mushrooms. Yeah. All right, yeah. let's get into it. So it's interesting, the location that we're in, we're not actually in a field of mushrooms or anything, so to speak. We're actually on the side of the road. But we're looking for big pine trees and things like that. That's mostly where they're going to be. So we're just traveling up and down and finding them. We are finding our slippery jacks. We're finding our pine mushrooms so and some dodgy ones too, which we'll get into shortly. All right, so this is a slippery jack. Yep. Okay, so how do we identify what a slippery jack is? Well, over here, if you feel on the top, it's quite slippery, hence the name. Um, that's what you generally look for, the shine, when you're um, collecting them. Generally, you don't know what's underneath it, because there's a sponge underneath it, and uh, there's a little worm, a um, bit like a centipede that eats, eats on it, and they tend to destroy it very easily. So, well, it looks in pretty good shape, but we'll have a look underneath. And yep, that's in oh, yeah, beautiful wow. shape. Sort of darkish to lightish brown on the top, very slippery. And then underneath, it's like a, like a sponge. It's pretty cool. That's very nice. Very tasty. What dish would you put that in? Uh, at home, I like to fry those up. Butter, garlic, maybe a few shallots in it. And just put it on a nice uh, toasted ra, nice thick slice. Um, in the restaurant, we would use it in a risotto. Um, mm. Yeah, they hold their shape and yeah, they're very, very nice. Beautiful. We'll throw that one in the basket. Throw it in the basket. <laughs> Alright, so this one pine mushroom this is the pine mushroom yep yeah. yep so it's actually a really nice one but before i pick it i don't know if we'll get the shot but um you can see their gills are in really good shape um they haven't bruised which is nice but oh, well, let me pick it first and then this pine mushroom is in really good shape so they're a beautiful color it's like a orangey beigey kind of kind of color and um, the same underneath in their gills, they're quite orange underneath as well. So they're pretty easy to identify. Yeah, something like this I would just um, use for a casserole dish where you're chopping all your veg pretty much the same side and fry it off with my onions and garlic and carrots and celery. Yeah. Um, just to get some nice caramelization on them. So what's the difference in flavor between the two, the slippery jack 
and the pine. The pine is more of a milder flavour yeah. um, compared to the slippery jack, which is, I would say, more of a meaty flavour. If you can, like this, would actually feel heavier. Yeah, the weight difference. Yeah, so you get a lot more out of this one than you would out of this one. Yeah. Um, so um, this, on its own, sliced on toast is is beautiful. Yeah. Even but another way is wrapping them in tin foil with butter, garlic, a bit of thyme, yep. uh, maybe a bit of drizzle of olive oil and just bake them in the oven. My boy. Might give that a go as well. Yeah. <laughs> heaps of heaps of things you can do with mushrooms. <laughs> well let's see if we can get some more and then call it a day. Yeah. Would you eat that? No, definitely not. <laughs> so what's the standard rule of thumb? For me, um, as much as they look beautiful, um, anything with colour or that looks very much similar to this, um, um, it's not good to eat. Uh, more than likely is poison and you'll be rushed to hospital and more than likely need a stomach pump and they generally ask you what mushroom you ate um, and more than likely you don't know so yeah. um, just avoid them. Take a picture and move on. <laughs>